Amid these raids and arrests, NewsClick, the news portal, has issued a statement condemning the crackdown, has said digital devices have been seized. NewsClick statement, and I'm quoting from it here, the government treats criticism as anti-national agenda. No news was published at the behest of China, says NewsClick, adding Singham, referring to uh, basically the one who was investing money in NewsClick, does not have a say in the content. The fundings were received through legal banking channels. Some of the visuals on the screen of uh, the staffers and senior journalists associated with them who have also been taken into arrest or their houses have been raided. It is basically Parbir Prakashta and the HR head who has been taken into custody while others have had their uh, either digital evidence seized or have been questioned for several hours. Let's go across to Shreya Chatterjee for the statement on that. So NewsClick uh, says that um, all of the allegations are false. Even simple criticism is being seen as anti-national agenda and that the, uh, in, interestingly, the investor doesn't have a stay, say in that content. So this is now basically what they are claiming to which the Delhi police will have to put forth way, uh, much more evidence against it. Shreya, uh, I cannot hear you and we'll try and get that audio line back with you in just a minute. I'll quickly read out what the news click has said. The government treats criticism as anti-national agenda. Nothing was at the behest of China. Shreya, go ahead. Uh, well, absolutely, Pooja. You know, NewsClick has called this an attack on uh, free press. They have called this a witch hunt. They suggested that their bank account details have been there with the enforcement directorate as well for a very long time. And the EOW, multiple agencies have scrutinized them, but they have not got anything. This is what NewsClick has to say. But then again, what is the remand paper saying? What are the allegations that Delhi Police is making? Delhi Police suggests from 2018, for the span of five years, uh, NewsClick, uh, under the name of PPK NewsClick Studio Private Limited, through illegal means, I quote, uh, received funds during uh, these five years from MS Worldwide Media Holdings, LLC, USA and others. So this is the allegation that Delhi Police is putting forward in a remand copy. Remember, these are the reasons that they had cited to get the custody of Prabir Purkaista and Amit Chakravarti. So one thing is for sure, the trouble continues to mount on news click. Obviously, there mm. has to be evidence that has to be provided by the police before anything is proven in the court. But as of now, it is something that is sure is mm. there is trouble mounting for news click and those who also worked with news click because the ones who were questioned yes. uh, uh, on this day were again called uh, on different okay. dates is what we have also learned from the Delhi police sources. So could it be about uh, about individuals and their writings specifically that was uh, against India? Was it pushing a pro-China propaganda? Was it about news click in general as a portal? Eventually it is now, remember, up to the courts uh, where the judicial process will define and decide what exactly happened in this case. Shreya Chatterjee with the latest.